A Veteran's Christmas is a really lovely film. This was released originally in 2018. It's written and directed by Mark Jean and it stars Eloise Mumford as Grace and Sean Farris as Joe. And Grace has recently been discharged from the Marines uh, on an honourable discharge. And while she's driving, she crashes into this mound of snow. She hits her head. She's not terribly injured, but injured enough that she goes looking for help and she knocks on the door of Joe. And Joe, it turns out, is a lawyer. He's a very respectable person. There's always an awkward moment in films like these where strangers will kind of willingly go into another stranger's house, but generally it works out well. Uh, And thankfully, Grace found somebody very kind to help her out. Unfortunately, her car's not going to be ready for a little while, so she has to spend some time in the run-up to Christmas with Joe, with the other people in the area, and in doing so, she starts to question what she wants. She gets a job offer from somebody, but she's already got a job waiting for her in February, and as the film progresses, it's unclear what her future is going to be, because she's not completely certain what she wants to do. And Joe similarly has some career opportunities, but again, it's not clear exactly what's going to happen with those. I won't say exactly what happens, but I think the way the narrative developed was really likeable. I found everything to be very believable, very realistic, and I found the characters to be very likeable as well. I think Grace was a brilliant character. She was quite depressing to watch at times, But in a way that's relatable because she had to leave behind when she was discharged um, her dog called Christmas. And she's very distraught about this, as as one can imagine. And as a a pet owner, as somebody who just can't imagine what life would be like without my cat, I felt it. So if you also have a pet or if you've lost a pet, I think that part of it will, will really affect you and it'll be a really emotional thing. Um, so it did make it a little bit, well, I welled up a few times, let's put it that way, but it's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely worth it. And, and Joe actually has a dog as well. It's beautiful, beautiful dog called Justice. She's absolutely gorgeous. And obviously they bond over their love of dogs and other things and the romantic part of it, uh, I believed as well. I think there are a few things in this film where you maybe need to suspend disbelief a tiny bit. But not so much. Sometimes with Christmas rom-coms, they can be way over the top and unrealistic. But this one, in theory, could actually happen. So I like that. I I tend to prefer them when they're a little bit more on the realistic side. With regards to the Christmas aspect, it definitely feels very festive. And if you're playing Christmas bingo, you'll be able to mark off quite a few things. There are Christmas trees and ice skating and hot chocolate. Definitely a lot of festivities going on. Some lovely Christmas music as well. Really, really enjoyed this. And actually, just as a sign of how well loved it is, it's got 7.0 out of 10 on IMDb across 2.2 thousand reviews and ratings, which for a Christmas rom-com is pretty incredible. So needless to say, I'm happy to recommend it. It seems like a lot of other people are happy to recommend it. If you're looking for a Christmas rom-com, that you haven't seen, and you don't mind it perhaps getting a little bit emotional, then A Veteran's Christmas is a pretty good one to go with.